I'm about to do something that could cost me my life. The cuckoo is in the nest, and the cuckoo is about to be trapped. Cuckoo. So, Mike, along with the Pentaveret, uh, now Amsterdam, are we going to start seeing more of you? Yeah, you know, I um, I uh, always wanted to be a dad. Uh, I've had uh, three kids in the last 11 years. Uh, you know, Dana Carvey had said to me, uh, you know, the days are long and the years are short. And uh, I'm trying to build in as many like one-on-one -on -one trips with my kids when I'm not working so that they understand when I am working. But it's, um, you know, it's something I take very seriously. I, you know, I had great parents. I always wanted to have kids. My kids are fantastic. So I, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this part of my life. I have stuff lined up and, uh, I have things I'm going to do in the next little while, but um, yeah, it's been uh, like this whole summer was glorious. It was just me and the family, you know, just a complete luxury. They're only going to be 11, 11, eight and six months. You know what I mean? Hopefully there's an Austin Powers four in there. <laughs> well, you're very kind. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, Mike, what did you think about Paul Canterbury, all these w wild characters that David O. Russell has created for Amsterdam? Uh, you know, David O. Russell is an American auteur, you know, and um, not many auteurs uh, emerge, you know, and when they do, uh, what, uh, what we all tried to do, the studio we were fantastic and, and all the producers, is you try and let him run his fastest. You know what I mean? And so for me, it was just, I serve at the pleasure of the president. Whatever you would like to do, it's your dream. I'm here to support it. And uh, that kind of trust in him that he then trusts in you. And when you're working with fantastic actors like Margot Robbie, you know, I would just watch her act, get lost in it, and forget that it was my turn to talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? De Niro, you know, just fantastic. Michael Shannon, who... You know, he's a natural teacher. And, uh, you know, on Austin Powers movies, I, I get to rewrite madly. And, you know, it's my show. And I, you know, I get to write us out of trouble. And, and Michael Shannon is like on the script, helps you with this. Like, he's just a natural teacher. And I uh, blew my mind just seeing how all these different, I don't know how other people work on movies. I know how to make my movies. And it was just fantastic to see all these different approaches. Some people are chatty, some people are, they read, some people listen to music, you know what I mean? Um, I like to stay warm. I like to connect to the people that I'm in the scene with so that there's no warming up after, you know, between action and cut. You're, you enter warmed up, you know what I mean? And so does um, Christian Bale, which is fantastic. He stays in character the whole time. So at night, we didn't know Often David would say, oh, we're wrapped. And then be like, hold the wrap. David has an idea. And we're like, fantastic. It's going to be a great idea. And so we walk to our trailers and I stay in dialect and play English all day. Uh, Christian Bale is English. He's playing an American. He stays in dialect. So we talk to each other, him with the North American accent, me with an English accent to each other because we didn't want to break out of it until it was like, you know, oh, no, no, we're definitely wrapped. And I was just sitting there in the middle of a parking lot in Los Angeles going, I'm not going to give in. Are you going to give in? You know what I mean? It was really surreal, you know. But uh, both of us knew you have to stay warmed up all day. You only get to make the movie once, you know what I mean? You, you get all the full focus for the whole day. Harold, I don't know what you think you're doing. Excuse me. Hello. Got a dead white man in a box. Not even a casket doesn't even have a top on it in a pine box of old wood. Who do you think is going to get in trouble here? Do me a favor. Try to be optimistic. 